What's up, guys? This is Ferox. Uh, this is part two to our pen tool tutorial. This will be for the more advanced users of it. Uh, let's just open up Photoshop here. I'm sorry, I should have it, had it open before, but this is like take three of this. My mic's been acting up. Actually, sorry, it's not the mic. It's the it's the it's not the it's the extension cord. I have an extension cord for it, so I need to get a new one. Um, it's hard to explain, but whatever. So. Uh, we're just going to use the Optic Gaming logo for reference here. So basically, what what we're, we're going to be doing is we're going to learn how to accurately pen tool around these curves. Everybody's like, "Oh, just use a magic wand tool, man. It's easy, you know." And then you right click it, make path or whatever, and then you put it into Cinema 4D. But it's not as accurate. This is probably the most accurate way you can get a logo. It takes longer because you might ha need to make some adjustments which have to go back you know stuff like that so we're just gonna hop right into this make it fa hopefully it's faster than the previous tutorial so what you wanna do select your pen tool tutorial zoom in a bit for more accuracy and then so what you want let's start with the G here so we're just gonna start here shift hold down shift and click for that straight perfectly straight line as we discussed in the previous tutorial. And okay, so, so now we get to this curve and you're like, uh, Ferox, what the hell do I do now, right? <laughs> so, con hold down control and click anywhere. That basically ends this path. Now you can reconnect it with, if you want to do something else, but what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you. We're going to make these guide points, which will help you along curves. This even works with, you can pen tool circles with this too, if you really wanted. So what you want to do is, click click there and now control click and see how it's like an X I call them guide points I don't know what they're supposed to be called but we're just gonna do that all along the curve the more guide points you have the more accurate um, it the logo will be or whatever you're pen tooling so now we get back and you can see it begins a straight line again so now let's connect all these so what you want to do is click your previous path click the X your guide point and you want to drag it out in what whatever until you find click and drag click and drag it out or in until you find your preferred curve and then just keep doing the same thing and if you make a mistake see I, if you if I zoom in a bit more you can see like there's like kinda like a little bend there it's not perfect that will always you, uh, make sure to change that because it will look it will look sloppy when you bring it into Cinema 4D. Um, I'm just doing it really quickly because uh, it's a tutorial, you know. I want to keep it short. Um, so yeah, I I think you guys basically get the point. And then from here, remember to connect it again. So this is a, this is a straight line, so this is easy. Just shift and click, shift and click, shift and looks like it, there shit okay that's not perfect but whatever whatever so I'm pretty sure you guys basically get the idea and once you pen tool around the whole logo you can edit it the way you want it you know you can bring it into cinema 4d just make it 2d um, just edit how you want it if you want to know how to bring it into cinema 4d I will leave a link on the screen somewhere you guys can you guys can go click that and it'll send you straight to the cinema 4d part of it so I will see you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to post tutorial suggestions below. And yeah, peace.